Come on in. Come on in, buddy. Come on in, buddy. Come on. So little Bruno, he's with us for a couple of weeks. And as you can see, he's only a little pup. But he's quite a nervous little soul. So we've got to make friends first. Now, as you can imagine, being a dog trainer or working with dogs or working with dogs that aren't your, aren't your own, it's all about problem solving, good lad. And human nature really is to wait for a problem to happen and then you contact somebody that can help you out. So as dog trainers, all we're doing is dealing with issues and dealing with problems that have arisen. So it's very, very rare, like this one, where the owners are saying, we don't want any problems in the future. We want you to set the little dog up or the little pup up correctly on the right path with boundaries and routine and discipline and structure and engagement and all of the good words that well-behaved dogs do naturally before any issues arise or any issues happen good boy so little bruno here lovely fox red labrador hasn't done anything wrong he doesn't pull he doesn't jump he doesn't bark he doesn't become restless and start running around the house and chewing up the sofa but what we're doing is we're putting him on the right path so none of those things actually occur good lad good boy like that, didn't you? Good boy, you like that? Good, so now he knows what's in this bowl. <laughs> Typical Labrador. So now he knows what's in this bowl. We're going to try and play a bit of Pied Piper. Come on, buddy. Come on. Good boy. Come on. You see how reserved he is. New place, new environment. Still a baby. Good girl. Good lad, even. Just put a girl away, that's why. Oh, good boy. Good boy. There you go. So we're making friends, we're building a relationship, good boy. And I want him to see me, then in turn the owners, the best place to be. Sit. Good, and when we've got his confidence and we've got his trust, and he knows that we're holding a good thing, sit. Good lad. We can start feeding very, very basic commands into him. Bruno. Sit. Good boy. But at the moment, he's far too young to absorb anything too complicated. He's far too young to comprehend and absorb difficult lessons. So this is all about him, good lad, seeing benefit in us. Good boy. Here, yeah, mate. Go for another wander. Come on, Bob. Come on in, Bruno. Ha ha ha. Come on. Come on then. Come on. So you can see, you know, Fox Red Labrador. Oh yeah, Labradors are easy. Really easy. They come out of the box. Well trained. Not quite that simple. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. Yeah, buddy. Good boy. Hey, yeah, mate. There you go, should we give it another go? Come on in, come on in. So I'm just going to stick a slip lead on him, just to get him over that first hurdle of walking with us. There you go, see, he probably doesn't even know what a slip lead is, do you, mate? There you go, good lad. Come on, bub, good boy. Good boy, there you go. That's it, mate, that's it. Good boy, good boy. There's a good lad. Good lad. Good boy. Good lad. Here. Good boy. Because if you notice, there you go, starting to pull. What's this round my neck? What's going on here? Good boy. Good lad. Just set, letting him know that the prize is still here if he wants it. There's a look. Good. Yeah, here you go. Bruno. Good boy. Sit. Good, there you go. But you can see he doesn't have the first clue of what we require of him. Good boy, there you go. Good lad. 
But this is a good thing because we can put new lessons into him without having to undo any mistakes or take some steps back and cure problems that have arisen, hence why he's come to us. So this is a really rare, rare case, to be honest, where he's not in with us for us to look at issues or problems or behavioral things that clients want us to look at. He's here because the owners quite rightly are being responsible and they want him set up in a, the effective, most balanced way for them. Good boy, good lad, come on in, good lad, there you go. Good fella, good boy. Up and down and up and down, Bruno, there it is, good. Up and down and up and down. Distracted by the dog there. Good, and on we go. Good boy. Good lad. Hang on, mate. Bruno, come here. Bruno. So he doesn't even know his name yet. Bruno. That's it. There's a reward. Good lad. Come on. Yeah. Good boy. But you can see, really, really baby steps. And it doesn't take the brains of an archbishop to look at his body language, look at his demeanour. And he's a, quite clearly a timid, anxious little dog that he's not ready yet to be put pressure onto. When I say put pressure onto, I mean start teaching him constructive lessons. Way, way, way too soon. Too young mentally, and are not in a mental state to be able to absorb or take that lesson. Because for any dog to learn a lesson, they've got to know the difference between right and wrong. However, if they get it wrong, they need to be mature enough and mentally able enough and mentally old enough to learn the difference and to learn that if they do do something wrong whatever consequence we're going to use with him not to implode and not to be all oh no no run away don't like this don't like this i want to get on my bed because i find it a little bit confrontational that's the stage that we're at of him at the moment but you'll be just fine mate won't you good lad good boy yeah good boy good fella good boy Good lad. Good boy. That'll do then. You coming? You coming? Come on in. You coming? Come on. No, he's going to sit there. He's not willing to take the hurdle, not willing to take the step of confidence yet. He's going to sit there and seek salvage with that dog in that middle kennel. So, don't wait for problems to happen. Forward think. If I do this, will this occur in the future? So therefore, I'm gonna stop doing this now.